Good morning, everyone. Well, got a special message for this morning. Looks like I'm going to have to start looking for work. Now that my son's here, and he's not working, and I'm not working really, so we're starting to dip into our food supplies that I was prepping. The economy is getting worse. I don't have to tell you all that stuff because most of the stuff you should know. The economy is getting worse. They've raised the rates on campsites. So I'm going to have to go back to work. The technical reason why I'm not going to be working immediately is we have a writer strike. So nobody's writing for these shows. So there's a few shows that are still taping, but they pay so little, it's not worth it unless you live close by. And because I'm camping, I'm an hour away. I can stay within driving distance of Atlanta. That's not a problem so far. But if I spend all my money in gas, it's not worth it. And I don't make the big bucks because I refuse to get in the union. And that's the only place you're going to make money. But getting in the union is a, a catch-22 because if you're in the union, agents don't want you taking background work. Even though I'm featured or if I do stand-in work, that might be okay if I could only find stand-in work. But there's a not really enough of that. And there's a lot of stand-ins out there looking for work. It pays good money to be a stand-in, and that might be what I focus on. But... There's a rider strike. So, I'm going to spend the next week getting my resume together. My hopes of getting my son involved in this some way to <clears throat> help him out <clears throat> so that he could. Uh, <clears throat> it's hot and humid this morning. Not sultry hot, just warm enough that the humidity is like cutting butter. hearing noise across on the other side of the river. <clears throat> I had a deer in the camp this morning when I got up. I got a little bit of footage of it. It's kind of in the dark, but you can see it. He was pretty close. Well, I could have tossed a rock and hit him. That's how close he was. Of course, I wouldn't do that, but that's just to give you the idea how close he was. So anyhow, once I start working, those are 12 hour days, and that's not going to be on the, just the weekend, it's going to be any day that something comes up. I'm going to try to get us both working so that we can both have some income, <clears throat> but uh, it's just not enough. YouTube has cut me back so bad, uh, I have not been banned from YouTube yet, that's always possible, but they've cut me back, I am over... 80% of where I was six months ago as far as the views uh, the number of minutes that are watched and therefore the dollar amount I was making about 200 a month now I'm making currently it says 42 that means I won't get paid for three months because you have to have a total of a hundred for them to pay you so every three months it's it's not worth it from the point of view I don't do this for money but I need supplemental income, especially now that my son's here. Now, I've got my campsites paid up for the month, but I still need supplemental income. A campsite at, an, at my current site runs me about six, seven hundred a month. Even if you do fifty dollars a week for food, and it's hard to do that now, typically it's a hundred, that's four hundred dollars on top of that. And then I've got my normal expenses. Got to pay for internet, cell phones. I just took over my son's cell phone. So everything has a price. We're not going to starve because I have a few months worth of food. But I don't need to be tapping into these stores because I don't know when. And of course I ask God, when is the rapture? 
And he goes, you know I can't tell you that. It's a rescue. Of which, if the devil knew when it was, he wouldn't do it. If the devil knew when Jesus was on the earth, that if he could have stopped him from being crucified, he could have prevented all that we're doing now. But he didn't know that. I've said this before. He doesn't know the Bible. He knows the words. He doesn't know the meanings. And he doesn't put all the pieces together. The Spirit does that, and he doesn't have the Spirit of God. So he doesn't know when the rapture is, and neither are we. The second coming is a little bit easier to figure out because we know once the tribulation starts, we have a general timeline. But we don't know when it starts. It's still setting up. The people that want to take over the world want to do it as quickly as possible, but they're not quite ready to pull the trigger yet. Things are still being set up. They don't want to spend all this time and then lose control. So they're going to do it right. And they've got relatively lots of time. Now, a lot of these guys are old. All these old billionaires got old with all their money and they didn't learn because they were spoiled. They've got their money to save them out of all the earthly problems that we're dealing with. It won't take them to heaven, but they'll be living pretty nice down here on earth, and then they'll be gone. If you look at these guys and how old they are, you can see that there's a limited time for them to see their dreams come true, their dream of world domination. That's why we have the 30-20 reverse the numbers agenda. They don't want to wait that long. In fact, they, in their last meeting, said, we think we're ahead of schedule, but we want to move it even faster. We're coming up to a showdown in the United States, a budget showdown. And the Democrats think that they've got this thing locked in, that they can just be hardline. And I expect them to carry out what they said they're going to do. If they don't get a budget, the first thing they're going to cut is Social Security, which I live on and many millions do in this country, because they have the greatest impact. And, of course, the media is going to blame it entirely on the Republicans, saying that they just wouldn't budge, and it's all their fault. Of course, it's the other way around, but Satan lies. So the bottom line is, I will try to keep my videos coming as much as possible. But if I have to work, I have to work. So far I've been doing this without much help, but now that I've got a second mouth to feed, we're going to have to do something. And his main focus, my son's focus, is going back to Peru and helping them. He's still raising money for things back there. He sends money to them. So he needs to have his GoFundMe helped out, even while he's here. They just had a big Mother's Day gathering at the church, and now they're getting ready for a Father's Day gathering. So he's raising funds for it. If you can help, that would be great. I've got my Patreon account, which should pay enough supplemental income to help offset some of the bills that I've got, the internet, but I can't control that. They didn't pay me last month, and I don't know if I'm going to get paid this month. They say it's up to their discretion when they pay. I didn't get paid from YouTube, and I probably won't be for three months, the way things are. Nobody's getting to, you know, the people that are here that, that are loyal, that comment and watch the videos, Thank you for being here and doing that. But there's not enough other people. I'm losing all my numbers. All my stats are going down. It's a downward trend that's been going on for some time. And probably within two months, uh, I may get 20 or 30 views per video, and that's it. Or maybe basically your basic 50 or 100, maybe, if uh, nobody else leaves. But people are slowly leaving because they're either being taken off of my account 
or by just not getting notified, they don't find the relevance. Now, I'm going to be fine. I always am. But I wanted to be able to continue with this channel. So, if you start seeing me miss days, I'm still here. They haven't banned me. If they do ban me, I'll say something over on Telegram or Rumble, but so far I know how to play their game. The only game that I cannot control is them not allowing my video to be seen. And that's the one game that I've been doing good on, but they're tightening up. They're tightening up on the world. So, pray for my son and me, and I might cut back. I'll keep doing these while I can. My son's going in tomorrow to donate plasma. It's a way to make money. It's a hundred bucks, I think. It's not a easy thing. I, I can't do it. My veins are too small. I've tried. I donate blood occasionally on, on certain times of the year because it's good that we help the, the supply but you can make money donating plasma. I guess that's all the stuff that's in your blood that's minus the blood type, so that way they can give it to anybody. All right. That's about all I have to say for this. I didn't really have a message. And that's the other thing that I can see that's happening on this. I normally get a message at least a day or two ahead of time. My last couple has just come in late at night. I rushed together a, a program, get it recorded and posted, but it's just, it's not enough. I've cut back the time. This is gonna be another short video. Well, I'm disappointed that I'm letting you guys down, but we're getting real close. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. We got predictors out there predicting, I think the latest date was today. We're still here. The day's not over. They're not going to know. They're guessing. If I wanted to be right, I could predict the rapture, guaranteed. Starting today, I will predict the rapture today, and then tomorrow I'll predict it again, and I will predict it until we get raptured, and I'll be right one of those days. Big deal doesn't help and it shouldn't and I'm sure Satan's doing the same thing he's hoping on getting the day right too but he won't God's clever all right again continue to pray for me as long as I can do these videos I will but I'm not getting any feedback I'm not God's not speaking to me so he's basically saying wind it down what does that mean? I wish I knew. More things to go to, further things. Every time a door is closed, another one's opened. Till we meet in the clouds. God bless. That's how close it is to our campsite.